what you guys got another video here for you so you want to check the number of calls on your CPU and you don't know how many is on there and you don't want to be going to take your heatsink off to look at the CPU itself I'm going to show you how you can do that inside Windows 10 and basically we're going to be using a bunch of different ways to show you how to find out what CPU you got and all the information about that CPU inside Windows so let's go to the search box here and first open up PowerShell by typing power and you can see here PowerShell will pop up run this as administrator and then from here you'll need to type out this command that you see on the screen right now it's quite a big command and it does take a bit of time so you can copy and paste it I'll leave it in the video description for you but once you've got that typed out and you push enter it will give you a bunch of information about your CPU on your computer so what I'll do now is I'll push enter here and you'll see it'll break it down for us and it'll tell you how many cores you've got and how many threads on that CPU that you've got. Let's move on to the next one. Right click on your taskbar and open up the task manager and then go to performance. Inside here you'll see a tab called CPU. This will give you the name of the CPU of what's on the computer and then once you've done that you can look down the bottom here and it will tell you how many cores you've got and how many threads you've got and all the other information uh, about that CPU, the utilization, the caching and all that sort of good stuff is all listed right inside your performance uh, tab inside Task Manager. Now this is probably the most easiest way to get some information about what CPU is on the computer. It's very simple and easy to do and you can see it working away there on this uh, computer while I'm recording the screen. So let's move on to another method that you can use to get some information. We've got CPU-Z. This is another free piece of software you can download and use. And this gives you a full-blown uh, breakdown of what is in your computer. You can see here on the CPU tab, it gives us the name, gives us the code name of the actual uh, CPU itself, gives us the maximum TDP, gives us a socket we're using, which is always useful the technology which is seven nanometers and the core voltage that you're using on there it also gives you some other information about that CPU right here gives you the core speed uh, the multiplier you're using and the bus speed and it gives you all of the cache uh, information here the amount of cores and the amount of threads is listed all here on the caches you can have a look on there as well and some memory information is on that little program Let's open up the run box here and uh, we're going to type in here MS Info 32 and uh, this will open up this window here and what you're looking for is the CPU uh, name. This will give you some information about the CPU. Okay so let's move on down to the next one method which is going down to the search box and type in CMD and run this command prompt as administrator. Once we've got this box open we can now type in our command. The command we want to use here is WMIC, push enter. And once we've got this open, we can type in here CPU space get, and it will give us all the information about that CPU. See so CPU get, push enter. This is just one of the commands you can use. There's a bunch of other ones here. And you'll see it's pulled up all of the information about the CPU. You can have a good look at here. If you expand the command prompt box here it will give you all of the information listed here about that CPU about the cores and stuff like that so it's a little bit more jumbled inside there you can copy it to notepad if you wish you can expand and contract that box to get more information also now you know the name of the CPU you can put that into Google AMD Ryzen 7 3800X do a search and of course uh, AMD have got some information come down to the bottom here and we're looking for the specifications of that CPU and it gives you all the information about that CPU how many cores how many threads TDP clock speed all that sort of good stuff and this is really useful when you're trying to find some information about that CPU itself so it's very simple and easy to do once you know how and uh, there's also another program called core info and this was made by Mark uh, Rosovich uh, who works for Microsoft now and you can download this tool it's a free tool and you can put that into your C root directory 
or you can put it into your system photo whatever you want to do here I'm going to put it into a folder called core info and stick it inside there and then we can open up our command prompt box and navigate to that folder so let's go ahead and do that type cmd in the search box run this as administrator here this will open up the command prompt box and once we're inside here we can change directory to there so we're going to go back to the c root directory here and then change directory to core info which is the folder that i created and now we can type in some commands there's loads of commands you can use but i'm just going to put core info here.exe push enter and this will give you all the information about your cpu and stuff like that there's a bunch of information inside here as you can see very simple and easy to do there's more commands you can do i'm not going to go into depth with this program if you want to see more on this sort of stuff let me know in the comments section below uh, but basically there's a million and one ways to find information about that cpu on that computer without even opening up the side panel of the computer and taking out the cpu it's very simple and easy to do now there's a bunch of other software available which you can use to get system information on that computer and which is very useful and if you want to see videos on anything let me know in the comments section below what sort of videos you want to see and i'll try and do my best to make those videos for you my name has been brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk hope you enjoyed the video i shall see you again for another video real soon thanks again bye for now now if you haven't subscribed yet hit the red subscribe button and hit the bell notification button and click all to be notified when we upload new videos. Thank you.